Good morning ladies and welcome to Sunday Styling. Today is all about how to wear your eye gauze and your eyeners now. Now these very, very unprepossessing trousers that have zero hanger appeal are actually firm favourites with everybody at Artichoke. And today I am going to show you why, because they look fabulous on, and how. How are we going to do that in a way that means that you won't have to spend a fortune? Because whilst putting this video together, what I've tried to do is only use 13 additional pieces, which will move across what in e is in effect three wardrobes. And I'm keeping my accessories to a minimum. And, as an added bonus, ladies, on each outfit, I am showing you two ways to wear your eye gauze or your eyeners, which is why I'm looking very mad with my own boots on one side and our fabulous Vanessa Wu trainers on the other side. And remember, ladies, everything that we're going to show you today will go with your jeans as well. So, as many of you know, I'm Sarah and I'm from Artichoke and on Sunday Styling each week we show you what we have in our shop and in our shop we have every season a, co a coordinated and edited wardrobe that takes the stress out of shopping for you. Donna's here today, Paddy's still in bed, he's having a day off. Hello, hello everybody. Now she does talking which is an added bonus. <laughs> So she's going to chat to you as we go through. Any questions, shout them out, chat to each other, push that love button all the time because they love it in Google land. Now I'm just going to pop this down to one side here and I'm going to talk about my first outfit. So I am wearing my Igor 680s, which as you can see, although you would walk past them, when you saw them in a shop, once you have your body in it, they transform it. Now ladies, I am, I would say a 12 to 14. I'm at Fat Club, <laughs> my cousin's doing virtual Fat Club during lockdown, so I'm doing that and I have lost a bit of weight. So in a normal situation, I'm a 12 to 14 in a jean. I normally take size eights in the eye, 10 sorry in the eye gauze and the eyeners but because i've lost a little bit of weight and i carry all my weight across my tummy i'm now in a size eight so that they follow the line of my leg and, and when we suggest that to people when they come in the shop and pick them up for the first time no, the look on their faces, always, always, it's that non-believing and the comments, they just don't believe, never believe me when I say, oh, take in the size lower or sometimes take in two sizes lower. Um, and those ladies that trust us and just try them, you know, a, a high percentage of them actually go out of the shop wearing the size that we suggested. Um, so it's definitely worth, it's something that people don't believe, but it's trust us, trust us, it's worth trying going down to or one definitely one size but sometimes two and don't you remember when tracy came in because she bought hers without trying them on and <laughs> she wouldn't go down the size would she and then she came in three months later she said i don't understand it you you both look fabulous in your eye goals. why do i look like a bag of spanners in mine and we said tracy it's because they're too big she went down two sizes and, they fit and I'm con I'm convinced that um, some of the returns that we get back on these are because people have ordered the wrong si wrong size online. I'm I'm sure that they think, oh no, they don't look the same on me, and it's it's wrong. It's a sizing issue. I'm convinced of it. Yeah, definitely. So remember, ladies, I normally go down one size because of my tummy. I'm now down two sizes. Now I'm showing the each at uh, each pair of eye gauze, and we're also going to do the eyeners, which are the 29 inch leg. So these are 27 inch leg, and it goes back to that thing that Donna and I like a gap between our shoes and our trouser because we think it elongates our legs. So underneath these, I've got my own fabulous pull-on boots, 
But this side, I'm showing you a more casual look with our amazing uh, leopard trousers from Vanessa Wu. Trousers, trainers even, from Vanessa Wu. These should be online tomorrow, fingers crossed. I'm gonna get around to doing these and the other pair of trainers I'm wearing that are not online and also we've got some new boots in from Fad. They're 62 pounds, they are super, super comfy, very gorgeous. Black eye gauze above them. Um, and the black leather jacket from Pomodoro, which is £196. And underneath, I have our slash neck, no, I don't have our cow neck, one size jumper. So this is a one size, I'm 14 to 16 on the top. I think you could go up to an 18 at these and you would, they'd be fitted, wouldn't they, Donna? Yeah, yeah. And you wear them yes. and you're an 8 to 10. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So this is outfit number one, ladies. How to wear your eye gauze now. Now I'm moving on to outfit number two, which is a very quick change. I just need to make sure. I'm just going to tell Sarah what Joe just said because oh, it, it made it, Sarah saw me laughing. I don't know if you heard yep. me laughing, but Joe said, "Yes, Donna. Donna told me to try size eight, and I thought she was drunk." <laughs> But they did fit you and they look great. <laughs> yeah, and you have amazing legs, Jo. I mean, her legs go all the way up They go to on the forever. <laughs> they do. In fact, we made her, when she came to Norfolk, we made her do a little video, didn't we? Yeah, of the jeans the and the and yes. We'll need to dig that out and re-show it this week. Yeah, yeah. yeah? yeah. So, Jo, you're going to be a star, darling. <laughs> So, just moved into the heavy knit gilet, completely different look. This is a dress down, locked down look. With um, my trainers one side, and then my boots the other. You can see, ladies, I'm sure, that the trainers and the boots give the trousers a very, very different look. The one thing I must say, if you're going to have a gap in the winter, the ultimate accessory is your fake tan. So you need to keep slapping the dove on, ladies, throughout the winter if you're going to expose skin, because obviously wrinkly, purply look is not cool. I'm not doing earrings with this, Donna, am I? No. Am I doing, am I doing handbags? No, um, have handbags? You, you have the, yes, the, the one handbag. Right, okay, so handbag. I forgot to show you my handbag on the previous outfit. Ooh, All sorry. the way through this video, with one exception, we are using one handbag because really ladies that's all you need and a beautiful investment piece like this will move you throughout the entire winter if you've got one black handbag one brown handbag and one navy handbag you don't really need any more so this is our chanel uh, large quilted handbag which is 120 pounds and it is online as is the gilet the only thing that's not yet are the trainers and the cow neck jumper but as soon as i have time to do photography for the jumper that will be changed right can Am i just I tell now? janice uh yes while sarah goes off to change janice you asked how much the sweater is the sweater is 45 pounds um what sarah didn't mention is that it is very it's quite short it's fairly short so if you have a really long torso it, it's going to it may cut you off at the wrong place so just bear that in mind um and i'd just like to say hello to everybody everybody's popping up on my screen feel free to chat um amongst yourselves morning lorraine hello lorraine hello joe um sorry some of you have gone off screen now so i'm I'm doing a few things at once here and uh, trying to watch everybody as you go. So if I miss a question, we will answer your question. I'm sorry if I miss one, but we will answer it at the end. Um, but I'll try and do it as I go along. Um, so I'm sure most of you have got Igos or Inas. If you haven't, it's one of those things you need to rule out. Um, and the majority of you once you've tried them i think will keep them and will fall in love in love with them but if you haven't um if you haven't yet then then just give them a try if if for nothing else to rule them out of your wardrobe hello sarah hello jody um now if anybody doesn't know how to do the chat 
I'm gonna, I was gonna say let us know, but you can't let us know today because you, otherwise you'd know how to do it. But Joe, I'm wondering if Joe could just say and locate, I can't do it while I'm here now on this phone, but if Joe, you can just mention how to do the chat and what buttons you're pressing where you are, that may help one or two people. If you can do that for me. Can you hear me now? Right, here comes Sarah with the next outfit. We'll do it the next gap, Joe. So ladies, I'm back. I have on my roll neck jumper from Signature. You're gonna see this a lot over the next uh, 40 minutes. And I've teamed it up with the faux fur gilet from David Barry, which I absolutely adore. This is my favorite piece this season. What I'm missing is my accessories. So on the silver side, I'm going to be wearing while Sarah does that, can I just say that the roll neck sweater is £40 and the gilet is £49. And I've got on my, sil on my silver and black side, I've got the sparkly earrings, which are, I can't see, Donna. Can you see how much these are on your sheet of paper? Oh, sorry. Uh, sparkly um, earrings are eighteen fifty. And then I'm just going to pop on the gold burnish. Uh, these, no, they're gold pattern, I think we called these. And these ones are 12.50. The gold are 12.50. So we've got a gold look on one side, ladies. Gold earrings, picking out the gold in the trainer. And then on the other side, we've got all black. Then we have just got the sparkly earring to lift it now this is outfit number three what do you think about this outfit ladies are you loving pop it? the handbag with it on the shoulder pop sarah the shoulder. on the keep, floor no the one on the floor keep forgetting my handbag and the ultimate accessory your big handbag i just think this is a and what i love about this outfit is with your trainers it's really really dressed down and then with the boots this will this look will take you anywhere won't it yeah so ladies, let us know what you think about outfit number three. And I'm disappearing to do number four now, aren't I? Yes, uh, yep, the geometric. Um, so I've just seen, before it disappears, Annie, Annie, bro, what colour eyegles do you have them in? Um, eyegles, we stock black, navy, um, all year. We've always got black and navy in. Most of the year we have um, a, a stone colour also. And then they do seasonal colours. So seasonal colours most years, I, I'll be honest, without looking this year, I know we've got a cherry we red. This, year this, this year's been very different for obvious reasons, but we have got a cherry red and we have got the grey. Um, most winters we have a dark grey, it's like a, like a slatish grey. Um, summer's a silver grey. But as I said, this year, sometimes some of these seasonal colours are a little bit tricky to get hold of uh, the right sizes and colours. But it's worth checking when, when you want when you um, when you want a different colour. Um, check with us at the beginning of each season. So at the beginning of each season, we know what colours are being produced, and it's easier for us to order them in at the beginning of each season if we need to or, do or, to order them for you. Right, and she's back. Right, so this is, I think we're on number four. And actually, we just need to ignore the trainer. I couldn't get it off. <laughs> and put it back on again. So this is just a lot more sophisticated look. With your handbag. Love this, this is shirt. great office look, isn't it? Yeah, I love uh, that shirt. We've only got a couple of these left, actually. Uh, I think we've got a 14 and a 10. Mm, most of these went in Ely, they yeah, did, yeah. yeah. And again, so common this year is we just can't reorder. So if you like this shirt, and actually I love it, I just think this is a great, great look. That, that shirt's a perfect neckline on Sarah as well. Look, it's the neckline that, um, that looks really good yeah. on you. Yeah. And it's soft and easy mm. to wear. Mm. And I've quickly done that tuck to hide my tummy, which of course is what I'm always trying to do. And That's it's just a very it... soft, easy, easy easy to wear piece but i think that this is a fabulous outfit really really smart that's 61 pounds yeah. um there was somebody in ely i can't remember who bought that shirt in ely i think oh sorry the name i i can see your face but not your name um 
I said, just try it on, and she she didn't think. It's another one that on the hanger, no, it no, looked no. the 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 it just didn't look it, and and it did it. The pattern looked too fussy, yeah. but actually, it surprised people when they've um, and had it, it on. And it lifts the black black. You know, it, yeah. it means that I've got a splash of colour, haven't I? It just lifts me a bit. Yeah. So that's why I love that outfit. I think I'm off to do the next now. Right. Thanks, Joe, for the help on the. Um, hopefully, there may be one or two of you that um, have had problems with the chat. So hopefully that um, Joe's comments will help some of you. I, I know it, we, on some devices it's really obvious, but I know on others it's not so obvious. Um, right, did we go through the earrings there, Sarah? Uh, no, I don't think we... Oh, that's with the python. No, so the earrings we're doing next with yeah, the python top. Okay, Sorry. Yeah. The next outfit on. I won't be long. Yeah. So I've got another question. Do... I think Jo means to say igors and not ivors. You can tell she's living in Wales, can't you? Do the igors come in longer lengths? Right, no, the thing about the length is the igors are just the one length. Uh, that igor tells us uh, the length of the trouser. So the, the longer leg Steinman trousers is called the Ina. So the igor are a 27 leg and the Inas are a 29 leg. Uh, that's that. Yeah, she has corrected it. Igor's. That's that's a throwback to Ivor the engine. <laughs> right, I'm back. I'm just doing my earrings quickly. We'll work backwards from the top. These are the gold burnished earrings. And those are 1950. And now going with my gold, picking out the gold in the trainers and picking out the taupey goldy colours in the top. Well, and also there's a gold feature at the top of the, um, and your neckline on that top as well, so. And then my silver ones, going with the black, and um, just going with the blues and the blacks in here. So this is just a fabulous top. Now, Donna, you love a notch neck, don't yeah, you? Yeah, so just yeah. run by why you think this neckline is so flattering oh, because on if, me. Yeah, well, and it, you, and well, everybody, yeah. really. Well, if you've got boobs, it's that V, and it sort of it, it balances, and it doesn't make you look like a matron. Yeah. You know, it takes away that matrony effect, yeah. which sometimes now yeah, I've learnt, you. you know, I was always told if you've got boobs, you have to avoid a crew neck, a round neck. Um, now that I've discovered the little collars that the collar inserts then that helps and so I now wear a round neck but I also learnt to you know to wear a necklace to give the V but it's still a, a, a notch notch neck it's still it's all about balance and it's sort of it gives you shape yeah and it's more flesh yeah, exactly more flesh yeah yeah so this enables people like Donna and I to wear what in effect yeah. is crew neck. Yeah, Annie's saying the eyeballs also look great tucked into knee length boots. That is a new one on me. Thank you, Annie. I've not tried that. Might have to try that. Actually, I might try that. I yeah, might try we've. That with the navy ones. Yeah, well, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll try that. And the brown. Annie, when I come yeah, out we, the navy we've ones. not tried that, Annie, so we'll give that one a go. Yeah. Um, How much are the eyeballs? 58 pounds. Yeah, there you go, Jenny. 58 pounds, and the Inas are 52. And this lovely blouse has got the the uh, elastication at the bottom so it creates the ruching this is online but i've completely forgotten donna how much it is oh sorry the python top is 69 pounds so you're going to see this several times here's the handbag uh because i'm going to wear this top with black with navy and with grey just to show you how well this top works with so many different colors and something i forgot to say at the beginning ladies all these different tops and, and jackets that I'm wearing, remember, they don't just go with your eye gores, they'll all look fabulous with jeans as well. Donna looks as though she wants to say something, but I'm going to rush off. Well, no, I was chair. just going to ask you about that bag. Um, are you able to put it on your shoulder? Because when I'm using mine, because I ha have this one, just, I wear it on my shoulder. Just, but not really. Yeah, yeah. So I'm able to wear yeah. it on my shoulder, and that's it's where I wear it. It's not enough for me. It's not, yeah. No, okay, so it's about size. Oh, I have to do Mrs. Thatcher on everything. Right, okay. <laughs> All right, Joe saying, uh, fantastic. good solution for me as they would be too short for me. Right, yes, but Joe, if the eye gores are too short for you, the only dif the differences between the eye gores and the eyeners are the fact that the eye gores have pockets. I don't think Sarah's mentioned that. The eye gores have pockets, the eyeners don't. So the 
but Christine, who works here, the eyegores are too short for her to do that um, seven-eighths look. If she puts eyegores on, she, you know, they literally look like half-mast. Um, so Christine wears the... Oh God, I've left my eyegores. You've left your what? I haven't got any clothes on. My eyegores are over there. Shut your eyes. Shut your eyes. <laughs> right, let me do that. I've, I've blocked the camera. Sorry, you nearly got a glimpse of Sarah in a bra, so... <laughs> It was, it was my hand or, or the bra. Um, right, sorry, where was it? Right, yes, so if the... So for Joe, for you, who's got really long legs, if you want that 7 8 look that the eyegores give you, you would try the Ina um, 7 40s, which would come up as a 7 8 on you. What we haven't mentioned is that the Inas come up in extra long. They come up as an Ina 800. So if you're ordering Inas online, ladies, you very often will have people that just see the word Ina and, uh, and think that there's only one type, just get and they click on that. It, it, you, you need the 740s or the 29 leg, the 800 are the extra long and and the numbers it, I was working here for about two years before somebody pointed out to me that the Igor six six eighties are six hundred and eighty mil, the seven forties are seven hundred and forty mil and the eight hundreds are eight hundred mil. So if you want to know how long they come and you want and you um grab a tape measure and do it in mil. So Joe you would probably use the where the Ina full length 800 and the 740s would be that little bit shorter on you, which would update you slightly and be a nicer look. When these come up too long, I think Sarah's going to show you later, that's when they sort of step into the old lady, um, the realms of the old lady, and which we're all trying to avoid, obviously. Um, have I missed any questions? Apologise if I do. Hello, Rosie. Rosie's watching. Hi, Rosie. Anita, centimetres. Sorry, I don't understand. Did I miss something earlier? Um, 740 mil, or did I say mil, and should I have said centimetres? No, right. I, 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 yeah. Yeah, it is a mil, yeah. Oh, perhaps you're asking what that is in centimetres. Ah, I have no idea. <laughs> Oh, there you go. That's going back to my school days. So 74 centimetres for the Inas. Uh, any more questions? Let me just see. No. Right, Rosie, nobody wants to be an old lady. <laughs> Actually, in this day and age, you could argue that's a good thing. We're all trying to get to old age. Isn't that what life's about, Rosie? Let's get deep here. We're all trying to get to be old ladies, aren't we? Survival. Um... 74 centimetres, Yinka. Hello, Yinka. Yes, 74 centimetres are the Inas. 68 centimetres for the Igors. Right, I'm back. Right. I've got no idea what accessories I'm wearing. Right, here, with these accessories, here you are having the gold and silver burnished earrings, which are 1950. Right, okay. I've probably left them somewhere else, so I'm just going to take these off the um, paddy thing and pop these on. Now, this outfit, once I've got my earrings on, ladies, I'm now wearing the Ina 740. So this is the same thing, it's a pull-on trouser. There are no zips, there are no buttons to diminish the silhouette. They are super, super stretchy. So they'll go around my tummy, but if you have thighs, they'll go around those as well. So they're exactly the same as the um, Igor. They just don't have the turn up. Instead, they have a split and they are 27 inches long. Now, if I turn around this way, I love this look. I just think it elongates my legs. It's a very, very sophisticated look. If I turn around this way, I've just aged 120 years because <laughs> I've got my hottest, <coughs> hottest shoes on and the things flapping around, which is why when we wear trainers, we actually wear the eye so you can see a bit of ankle that clearly you could just put a roll on your eyeners. Now I'm sure you will agree, ladies, the whole ambiance of the outfit has changed. 
I've lost for decades just by putting a roll on these. So these are actually our fabulous Vanessa Wu trainers. They are great. I must say actually these trainers are great for orthotic women full stop. I wear an orthotic, I have done for many years, which people find surprising because I refuse to go in to orthotic shoes. I love shoes and I'm always gonna wear fabulous ones. So these will uh, be great if you have to put your orthotics in. The others are as well. These are also great for people with wide feet because they've got the Velcro. They are £62, I love them. They should be online tomorrow. Underneath, I've got my trusty roll neck jumper, uh, which is £40 and is from Signature. And over the top, I have got our reversible uh, gilet from Pomodoro. But ladies, it is still a bit dark. So what I'm gonna do is, again, Pop my red lippy on because that is my splash of colour. Mm. So whenever you're wearing darker colours, ladies, you need a splash of colour. So mine's my lippy and Donna, what is yours? Mine are my shoes or a scarf. So there you are. Mm. And then And that's very it, it, it's very um it's very on trend to just have one colour, you know, to just have the one. If Even photographers are doing it. I don't know if you, you've seen black and white photography and then they'll pick out one item in the photograph that they'll add colour to. Yeah. Now, it was still a bit dark, so what I've done is I have reversed the gilet. Obviously, you've got to cut the labels out. We can see the labels <laughs> sticking out, Sarah. So we need to explain that this is a reversible gilet, but it does have the labels that you need to snip out. Don't forget to do that. It's a huge giveaway. But do you know what? Claire <laughs> in Swaffham, who watches our videos. Is Claire here today? Claire, are you here? Announce we're yourself if you're here. <laughs> come on, come to your defence. looked at her the other day, and he said, you know what these styling videos you watch? And she said, yes. He said, don't they teach you to wear your clothes the right way round? <laughs> <laughs> She's got a Sarah, just turn around and show us your bum, please. Because, can you just lift it up? Because these eyeners don't have look. They don't have pockets. Some people like a pocket and wear eye gores because they've got the pockets. Um, these, we, these trousers, do people... Golf ladies still buy these? They do the eye gores because the pockets. They can't buy the eyeners because there's no pockets. But yeah. for them, we have the Stark version, mm -hmm. which is the Janna, and that has pockets. Mm. I'm not sure if the Jana's online. So there you go, they're sporty as well. And now I'm going to ask Sarah to tell you a story of, I think it was the first year that I was working for her and we went yes. mobile and a late, one of our ladies who was modelling, because obviously wherever we were doing an event, um, people from the charity we, uh, Sarah was doing the event for would um, nominate, uh, vol pe people would volunteer as models for us. So we had real, real lady models, you know, real life models. And one lady put on these and she was a yoga teacher and um, I was just doing my normal spiel because obviously we have a spiel for the fashion shows and I was saying ladies you can uh, wear actually because she was a yoga teacher I said you can do yoga in these trousers you can go out to dinner in these trousers and she said I think I'll do the splits in <laughs> and she did <laughs> Not to be recommended if you're not near an accident in an emergency department, <laughs> ladies. But she looked fabulous. And I've just forgotten. So this bit gilet is um, fully reversible. It is £68, I think, Donna. So that's 34 quid a gilet if you divide yes. it by two. Yes, yeah, 68 Actually, I love this outfit. And I'm, I'm sorry, I haven't got the collar right because it didn't turn to do the mirror. But again, cosy, cosy for this season but we'll look great for next when we're allowed out to play again. Right, I've forgotten my cake. Oh no, my cake's here. So yep. that was outfit number two, wasn't it? Or was that number, oh no, no that number one. Yep. This is outfit number two, and I'm just popping my cape over the top. Just make sure the button's in the right place, and I'm getting my collar tied properly do this, sorry, it's a bit of faffing, whilst we get it right. 
But again, I think I prefer this with my boots rather than with my trousers. I'm not sure it works with the trainers. I'm not sure it works. Sarah, how tall are you? So the five they... for six or seven. I think I might have shrunk. There you go. So if you're wondering about the length of the cape, what the length would be like on you, that's how tall yeah. Sarah is. So and it covers my groin. Um, it's one size. Um, Don and I both love these capes. The, the thing that's keeping them out of our wardrobe at the moment is we can't really make up our minds which colour to have. I was veering towards the brown last week. This week I think I'm going towards the grey, but do you know what? I think I probably will end up with black because I'm so boring. Was I supposed to be wearing makeup? I'm uh, makeup. I've got earrings on. Yeah, the hand, bag. I? Got, and of yeah, course, you've got your lipstick. The handbag. And the grey cape. The way I would wear this cape was with the boots, with my bag. Yeah, and how much is the cape? The cape's £45. Lots of colours online, ladies. And that's at artichokecollection.co.uk. Rosie's asking what length is that cape on me? Um, I'm disappearing whilst you and Rosie have a chat. Yeah, Rosie, if you go on to our, if you go on to the sales, um, when did I do that sales claim? A couple of days ago, I did a Christmas, okay, Christmas gifts, gift. Christmas gifts, and at the end of that. Um, video clip um i try on the cape so you'll be able to see it on me which is going to be a lot better than me telling you where it came to because and because i can't remember um so have a look at that rosie um and the pe the cape also comes in purple joe's reminding us so we have it in a, a lovely burgundy wine color uh black uh the gray and the purple Right, have I missed any other questions? If I've missed your question, now's a good time to repeat it because I've got I, I'm paying attention. So if you've got that's okay. That's okay, Rosie. Um chat amongst yourselves, have a chat to each other. I, I went on a Zoom um party chat on Friday night and it was really nice. I talked to a load of ladies that I hadn't met before. It was really funny to get into this um oh well like like Facebook chat. So whereas we don't tend to meet new people now. So I was chatting to to people that I hadn't met before but doing doing it digitally. What are you looking for Sarah? I think Sarah's lost leather something. Jacket. Oh leather jacket. No I can't see it over this end. Ah, right. I'll go and have a look. So Sarah will come back on and then I'll go and search for the jacket. I've got no idea. Right, here are you going and I'll look for it. Right, so anyway, this is outfit number two with the python um, top and <laughs> the leather jacket. So another way to wear this investment piece, which is £196 and the famous handbag. Still £120, and I think we're probably on outfit number three here, so we're on outfit number eight in total. So you've used this handbag, ladies, eight days running. So again, I think this actually works both yeah. ways. So I think I've still got the silver earrings on, uh, handbag, jacket, boots, and then this way we've got the gold, picking out the gold on the trainer, We've got the roll on it, so it's a really dressed down look. And you'll see that this python top just goes beautifully with grey as well as black. And for those of you that are worrying that it's all dark and we're going dark, then all that needs is an amazing, you know, a bright red scarf or a lovely, any colour scarf, whatever colour um, you, you want to give it that splash of colour. But Sarah's got her splash of colour in her lipstick. lipstick. And I'm very boring. All I do is wear my lipstick. Uh, because I just I just get too hot in scarves, quite frankly. So I wear scarves to keep me warm. Um, if if I wear l l scarves inside, I begin to have a panic attack. <laughs> right, I'm off. Taking my jacket with me so I don't lose it this time. Right, let me go over the prices in case because we didn't really talk about prices there. So some of you maybe have recently joined us, and we've so the Python top that Sarah was just wearing was sixty six pounds. Um, the biker jacket is £196. The handbag is £120. Um, that was that outfit. What did we have before? The cape is £45. Uh, we've done all the others, haven't we? Uh, the, the earrings, those earrings that Sarah's got on are clip-ons. We do have, I'm not sure what the numbers that we've got left in the um, 
you know, post earrings. But we, it's worth asking us about, if you see a star that you like, it's worth asking us if we've got it in clip-on or post um, because we do have both. They're all, oh, so online we'll answer you. If you check on out online, it, it'll um, answer that question for you. Um, morning, who's, oh, morning, Philippa. Uh, who else is there? A bit late, but morning. Christine is a bit late. Morning, Christine. You, you can catch up later on everything that we've done so far, but if you have any questions, because we're talking about Igor and Ina trousers, if you've had got any questions about them, please um, just ask. And I'm back. Right. Right, so uh, I have on, and we're just going to ignore the trainer side this time, because I just love this look with the boots. So this actually is my Christmas day top. Now Donna and I are going to do a video on Thursday about outfits for Christmas day, and I bags this. What we might do for a bit of fun actually, Donna, is, is actually we could try and wear two out, you know, the same outfit, little and large. That might be fun if we've got them. So anyway, I've digressed. This is my Christmas day top. I know which one will look better. <laughs> Which now has taken the eye right down, and I just think it's made the outfit, Donna. Don't yeah, you? what it's doing is it, it's between her boobs. Look, it's it's. So I don't have a mono boob. My bra fits me. Yeah. So that it's going mm. straight into my chest, and that means that this can just sort of poke between them. Yeah. So it's giving it, it a necklace is is drawing the eye to the right place because it's falling at the right place, but it's also giving her a little bit of shape and a V neck. And at five foot seven, the pockets are a perfect place for me on this this yellow. Yeah. Just keeping me warm. I'm not bothered about mixing gold with silver, so I'm just keeping my handbag. Mm. I'm not going to buy a brand new handbag with just to have the silver fixings. Oh, gold and silver look great together. Yeah. They look really oh, good together. Me, yeah, actually. no, it's a lovely mix. So we've done it with silver. Um, Ali's I'm... asking about the trainers. Um, Ali, the trainers, we've got three different colourways and the trainers are £62. Pounds. These, are not on, these ones are not online yet, but they should be in the next couple of days. Now, um, I haven't got this in the right way around. I'm just showing you that you can wear gold as well. So the silver drop necklace, I can't remember how much that was, Donna. Perhaps you want to tell everybody whilst I whistle off? Sorry, I was looking at a question. Uh, this, uh, so this necklace, the silver necklace is £30.50, and pence. the gold necklace twenty four fifty. the handbag for those uh, new arrivals is £120, um, and there was a question, right, Katie, which are the best trousers for those of us with bigger thighs? Some stretchy trousers show up the cellulite lumps and... Oh, I've got to press the button to see the rest of your... Bear with me. Lumps and bumps. Oh, um, it, that's all down to colour, I think, Katie. Um, that's why bla black is so forgiving. Look, the, you know, I can wear... I, I carry most of my weight in my thighs. Um, people look at me, you know, do, do that funny look when I say that as if I haven't got an ounce of... Um, fat on me I have I just hide it really well um and just so happens that black's my favorite color so it's uh, lucky for me because so black is very forgiving so those ladies that um do have lumpy bumpy thighs if they come in and you, the recommendation with these trousers is you go down a size for those of you with lumps and bumps you can do that and go down a size in the black and navy but Come summer, and when we have these trousers in the pastels, if you want the pastels or the paler grey, then stick to your size. Don't go down a size. So, um, Katie, I would recommend the black eyegles because them being shorter, will, you can balance it out with a nice pair of boots. So I would suggest that um, you try the black eyegles. 
But your boots must have a long frog, ladies. I think it's a frog, isn't it? The bit that the, sticks up. Yeah, the, so the ankle to, bit. The yeah. ankle bit needs to be long. Yeah. These actually are roll-on boots, so these are actually full length. Mm. Um, <clears throat> but normally I would wear my ankle boots with them, <clears throat> but they are, you know, they've got a long frog. Mm. Dress down, fair our jumper, love it. Um, what more to say? This is a great way of dressing down your eyeners or mm. your eyeballs, and obviously this jumper will go beautifully with your jeans as well. Fifty-nine pounds, and I'm going to disappear now to get into my navy eyeballs. Two uh, sets, the fur isle jumper. Can I just say that we only have two of those left? So we've got the extra extra large left, which works out at a size 20 and that was the one that sarah was wearing she is not a size 20 um don't you know use sizes to give you the look that you want don't don't buy something because that's your size think about what what look you want from that item and size accordingly um so we've got a large left which is a 16 um and we've got an extra, extra large. So lovely jumper, but sorry, only two items left. Can I go back to Katie and Katie's question about these um, eye gore, uh, what trousers for lumpy, bumpy thighs? Go, as I said, the eye gores, because that will give you, I don't know your height, but if, if the eye gores will work for you height-wise, go down a size, Katie, as well. Because very often ladies think, oh, I want to hide that part of me that I don't like and that is big. And so they think it'll hide it more or it'll fit if, the, if they don't go down the size. No, you want to go down, you still want to go down the size to get the better effect from these trousers. Um, Geraldine, could you wear the opaque... Oh, sorry, I'm having knee socks under shorter trousers. Could you wear opaque knee socks under the shorter trousers with the ankle boots? Oh, yeah. yes, you could. Absolutely, well, yes. Time, you just <coughs> yeah. She and me, we're the only ones who wear them. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, Geraldine. Obviously, that's a good idea. Who wears pop socks as well? Pop socks. <laughs> um, Joe, can you show me the top that is hanging on the rail... That is multicolored with purple on the sleeve. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I keep seeing it. Right, okay. I will do that for you now, but um, don't look at me because I wasn't supposed to be going on camera. Here I go. Here I go. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Um, and we've only got a small left. I'm really sorry. Somebody bought the um, other one. Who had this last week? Somebody bought this last week. It looked great on them. Oh, somebody in Ely. So, yeah, that's the top. It has got purple. Sorry, Joe. I should have showed you that a long time ago. So, there we go. Right, I'm back. And I'm With back. my blue eye goes on. And Annie, you're right. Look at them. Ah. Amazing. So, thank you. Annie, we've learned something new from you today because it would never ever have occurred to me to pop these inside the high boots. And they just look fab, don't they? Uh, right, I've got no... I'm caught up. I'm caught up on my questions. Okay. Yeah, love that look. Very country, very Norfolk looking. Yeah. yeah. So that's given us a new way to wear our yep. eye gores. Yep. So this is, you know, like the real life that we lead. So um, I've got my eye gores tucked in to my brown boots as suggested by Annie Bro. However, on the other leg, I've got my fabulous gold crackle trainers, lovely and sparkly. Again, super, super comfy. All these trainers will go into the summer. They're absolutely fabulous. And these are just, I'm, I'm undecided between these and the leopardy ones, but definitely a pair are coming home with me. Those are 62 pounds. They are, and this color is actually online. So, um, I go 6 eight toes. sorry, you've got a flash of my horrible tummy there, uh, look fab, no buttons, pockets, N pockets on the back for golfers, and obviously navy is a great colour if you uh, play golf, and super, super stretchy, again, a darker colour, so it's flattering on all body shapes, mm. so it will diminish Donna's thighs and also my tummy, and I can't see if I've got my jumper. But if right. you're ordering them online, go down a size. Yeah, definitely. 
Uh, David Barry quilted jacket. Uh, it's £75. I'm wearing it in the navy. Uh, we love the gold fixings. Um, and really, yeah, it's just a great look. I love this. And look. the navy and grey go really nice together. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, really, really nice outfit. Right, and here we're going to... Now, Sarah, before you disappear and yeah. run off, can you just go through sizes? What sizes okay. you're wearing, please? So, ladies, I am wearing my Eigel 6A toes in a size 8. This jacket I am wearing in a size 12. And the jumper is a size 20. I am not an 8. I am not a 12. And I'm not a 20. Mm -hmm. My top half is 14 to 16, and my bottom half is 10 to 12. And that, ladies, is why when you come in and say, Oh, I wouldn't want to go to a 16, we want to slap you. <laughs> it is not about what's written on the label. You know, why would I not wear any piece of this outfit because of a number it's got written in the label? These trousers do not make me shrink two sizes just because I put them on. I'm still the same size. This jumper does not make me go up two sizes just because I've put it on. I'm still the same size. And this is, you know, just our constant mantra, ladies. Mm. As well as buying pieces that you love, you're more likely to love them and wear them if the bloody things fit you. Mm. Anyway, end of lecture, I'm off. Don't you <laughs> so that follows on from what I was saying. Um, go, go for the size that gives you the look you want. So um, if we haven't got it on the on the rail in your size, then try the next size up, try the next size down. Yeah, Rose agrees, so true, absolutely. Uh, and, and that's great that some of us don't care what the label says. That's really good to, um, that, that we don't look at labels. I, I don't... You know, I like a lot of oversized things, so I do go up um, lots of size. Jenny, I want those trousers. They're really, really versatile, Jenny. Um, and I, I'll, I've told this story before, and I'll say, tell it again for those of you that haven't heard it. It's when I started working for Sarah. I saw these trousers on the rail and I thought, no, I'm not ready for turn-up trousers and I'm not ready for elasticated waist trousers. And there was, that's it. I went for the jeans. I wasn't going to wear those trousers. And then Sarah popped me in them for a fashion show and uh, I've never looked back. And my black eyeguards are now my favourite trousers. It and they're my, you know, they wherever I go, they're my what I call faithful trousers. If I can't think of what anything to wear, if I can't, if I'm lo I've lost the will to live, I can't think um, outfit wise. I just throw in my black eye gauze. And I've got a really similar story actually because when I was first shown these trousers, I said to the person who was showing them to me, "We're not old enough for crimpling trousers. Uh, you know, I won't be buying these." And they just looked at me and said, but they are not for old ladies. And I said, right, okay. And the lady who I was talking to said, I tell you what, Sarah, I'll send you a sample anyway. And I thought, well, you can do what you want, darling, but I'm not buying them. So she sent me a sample. I chucked them in the back of my wardrobe and there they sat for a year before I was going out to dinner uh, one evening. And everybody who knows me will realize that my life is chaos. And it is not unusual for me to get to my wardrobe and find out there are no clean clothes. And I remembered these trousers in the back of the wardrobe, pulled them on and visibly went down two dress sizes. Now, my, that decision not to try them on, ladies, cost me £30,000. <laughs> because that's how many of these trousers we sell each year. Now, there are other brands on the market. Stayman invented these trousers. There are lots of imitations. But, ladies, although they're coming in at a similar price point, nobody has the quality of the Bengalin and none of the trousers are made as well as Stayman. So although lots of imposters have been launched on the market in the UK, we do not move away from these trousers. And we have customers who go to other boutiques and they buy the other brands, having it been suggested to them by us that possibly they're not quite as good, 
and guess what? They come back. So Stamen, they make fabulous trousers. It's like our jeans, ladies. All Stamen do is they make trousers. That is their speciality, and that is why they're so good at it. So we're now on to the next look, which actually we're repeating, but we're just doing it for blue, showing you that these pieces will move through your entire wardrobe. So we have the jacket at 196, the python top, which is 61, I think, and the handbag, which is 120 pounds. And I am off for my next change. Uh, right, and I've got some questions to answer. Um, right, Ali, when are we in Ely again? So we were in Ely a couple, what was it, a couple of weeks ago? I don't know, early, times. Early January, I emailed her Maria on Friday. Okay, so we're definitely gonna be back in Ely early January. Have we got dates yet or not? Yeah, I've emailed Maria waiting for dates. Waiting for dates, okay. Sort of like the 7th, 8th or 9th of January, that's the Thursday, Friday, right. Saturday. And that will be where the sale starts, ladies. So um, if you're in the Ely area, you'll get first dibs on the sale items. Um, right, uh, Sue Day, elasticated waist. Sorry, I'm, I'm still on the fence regarding elasticated waist. Yes, but um, I, so I know exactly where you're coming from, Sue. But if you think about it, for years, for many years, the Italian ladies have been, um, you know, at the forefront of style. And many of those, uh, those ladies, were, they've been wearing elasticated waist for years. But when you are wearing the elasticated waist, you are the only person that knows that you are wearing elasticated trousers. Nobody else knows. Um, you, you, you can't tell. Even when you pull them up, you've got the fake zip. You, you still can't tell when you pull up your jumper. So it's a hidden secret. Um, Jane, the green, I know which green trousers you're um, speaking about. The Stamen green trousers, they are stunning. Love those trousers. I honestly uh, go down a size. Would you, I don't know Jane, would Jane be better to go down a size? Uh, I don't, I think what you're gonna have to do, Jane, is you're gonna have to have a chat with us about that because Linda has gone down the size. Mm. I'm not sure I could. What we need to do is measure them because they're not the usual pull on, they're a jean cut mm. and they're a straighter cut. So really we need to have a little bit of a measure on that one because they are a different trouser from the pull-on. The uh, Peggy is a completely different style, it's a jean cut. So it's the first time we've stopped the Peggy's this season but we have got them coming in in the summer as well. So it's really introducing more, more jeans from Stayman rather than trousers. So uh, back with the uh, one size cow neck jumper, just stick my label in. Back with the faux fur gilet, just to show you again, this is a really nice country look, I think, with the navy tucked in boots. But what I am missing is the star of the show, which is my statement handbag. I love this. What do you think? And actually, you now when you were going through these outfits today, you weren't going to wear the boots like no. that because um, obviously you've we just been given. We hadn't thought about <laughs> it, and that is looking uh, you know, that's looking far better with yeah. the tri with the boots out, especially with that handbag. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. love this look. I mean, still working with the trainers, but I just love. Yeah, I'll be. Him with the boots. Yeah, I'm not. I'll. I'll be honest. I'm not loving the trainer look. The the boots look. I am loving. Yeah. The, the, yeah. The boots is the one for me. That gets my vote. Yeah. So this is eighty one pounds. Cow neck jumper is the uh, one size. We reckon it'll fit oversized eight to ten, fitted at eight at eighteen, and everything else in between will work. Faux fur long gilet is forty nine pounds. So the trousers, the trainers, the gilet, and the bag are on nine. The jumper you need to message or call us on 01-760-724948. And I'm disappearing again now. And the, the, so the, the cowl neck jumper is 45 pounds. Um, I haven't been in the shop much, so I'm not sure what colors we've got left, but have you got any more of those jumpers coming in, Sarah? They've arrived. They have and arrived. And we have them in chocolate brown. 
So I'm hoping that you all heard that. Um, so variety of colours. And those same colours that Sarah mentioned come in the slash neck version of an oversized jumper as well. So if the cowl neck jumper is going to come up too short for you, because of the two jumpers, um, they're, they're one size. These jumpers are both one size, slash neck and uh, cowl neck. They're both £45. They come in the same colours that Sarah just mentioned, but the cowl neck is a shorter body than the slash neck. Um, the the slash neck, I, I know if you want that feature, the, the cowl, if you, or if you can't wear a slash neck, then just you can fit a collar underneath it. That's what I do. I slip my um, collar insert underneath it um, or obviously wrap one of our lovely scarves. Do you sell those boots? Rose, no, I'm sorry. Those are model's own boots. Model's own boots. We, we do. I do get a few phone calls about um, long boots after each... Um, each clip that Sarah does. Hello, Joe. Hello, Joe from Ely. Uh, but no, the boots are model's own. Right, I forgot. I took my jumper off before I put my cape on. So anyway, this is just showing you ladies how great the grey cape that would go with oh, your grey ironers and your black ironers as well, how well they work with your navy eyegles. So this is the cape and it is £45. What earrings are you going to put with that then, Sarah? I don't know. Have you Oct any <laughs> octagonal earrings? Oh, could Does octagonal that, earrings? You could do octagon octagonal. No, or should I save I could them say for it. my posh outfit, which is next? Okay, yeah, yeah. With, the t with the tint of blouse. Yeah, if I just yeah. go back to my normal ones, oh, which I've lost. Let's do a gold burnish, gold pattern one side. And... Uh, Silver the other. I think I need to swap it around for these. I'll just say that this is Sarah's. These showing you these clothes, getting cha all these changes is Sarah's equivalent of a Sunday morning jog. <laughs> so, right, so, so she doesn't do a Sunday morning jog. She's doing this Sunday morning um, trying on. And those of those ladies that pop into the shop and say, "Oh, I can't be bothered to try it on today. I'm not in the right mood for trying on." Um, uh, she's. How many outfit changes have we had? So you can. Oh, you can, yeah, you've used a few calories this morning. A few calories gone this morning. Uh, right, um, any other questions while I'm here? So let me go through. So the zip detail handbag that uh, that was the uh, that Sarah showed was the brown one that was £81. I can't remember whether she said the price. Uh, so that handbag is one to go on your Christmas list. It's £81. The faux fur gilet was £49. Um, been, been there, done that. <laughs> Sue, what was that? I've missed it. I'm not, I'm not with it. Been there, done that. Explain. What did we say? Um, any other questions? No. So the handbags that you can see on screen, let me just talk about those. The, the Chanel, we've got the Chanel handbag that you can see on screen at the moment. And then we've got the mini version of the bag that Sarah's been showing you. So the Chanel quilted bags. So the, the, small, the smaller version of the one that Sarah's been showing you, if you think that one's going to be too big for you, is £85. Here she is. Right. So this is the dressy outfit. Christmas Day again. Christmas Day outfit. Lovely chiffon um, blouse from Tinta. I haven't done the sleeves up, but if I just come into camera, you can see that they've got the frill on the sleeve, yeah? Mm -hmm. Slight puff on the sleeve as well. And then it's pleated. So it's really, really easy to wear. It is sheer, so I've got a vest on underneath. I've got absolutely no idea how much it is. Can I, I'm just, I was just thinking to myself, the blouse is £79. Can you just turn and face the counter and just lift your arm up, Sarah? No, sorry, turn, turn to the side and lift your arm up because I'm just going to tell you one of my pet hates, ladies. And my, a pet hate of mine is when people are wearing sheer outfits like this, this beautiful sheer top. And you know when Sarah says you put a necklace on and people focus on the necklace? Whenever I see ladies with sheer tops like this, I miss the top because all I'm looking at is that label underneath. And, and and I've seen that with people wearing beautiful dresses and I can see the label through. If you 
please cut the label off carefully. You know, I'm focusing on that label, Sarah. I'm not looking at the top. <laughs> so if you've got a sheer top, cut the label off. That's my top tip. There you are, Donna's <laughs> top tip. And obviously, because it's Christmas Day, I've got my octagonal earrings There they on. are. And these are pierced, so I'm not actually going to wear these ladies. And those are £49. Yeah. And again, going back to... A top not just being for Christmas, we then chuck on a leather jacket. I'm just going to layer them up. I mean, I wouldn't layer them up, but just to show you the two different looks. Again, because there are so many colours running through this, actually, I might layer them up. <laughs> through, through this outfit, you now have moved your beautiful top that you invested in for christmas day you're wearing it every day dress down with jeans um the only thing i would say is i would wear a proper marks and spencers round neck full length thermal uh vest best. best underneath this because it will keep you toasty and warm and then you won't have to wear a jumper or you know you'll be warm enough to wear this throughout the winter can we talk about the jacket? For those of you that have just joined us, the jacket is 196. And Joe Nagy is asking, can you do the jacket up? Because she'd like to see it now, done up, I please. I might be able to. The problem we've got, Joe, is this is a size too small for me. So I just need to be careful doing it. Sarah left her jacket, uh, her jacket okay. at home. So obviously with a thin top, I can get away with this, but actually, you know, I can't breathe in it. Yeah. So that's why I've gone up a size. Uh, because it does fit me, but it fits where. Yeah, it, but the it only, touches. the only, pl yeah, but Sarah, it's fitting you everywhere. The only place that isn't fitting you is on your boobs. Yeah. So, yeah, actually, yeah. you know, because it's compressed again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't breathe. So, yeah, fabulous jacket. What sizes do we have left? Uh, we've got 10, 12, and 14. Somebody is looking, uh, Karen is interested in the 10. I need to do photos for her on Monday. Um, and we've got the 12 and the 14. So she hasn't made a decision yet on the jacket because I haven't actually got around to doing photos for her. So yeah, I mean, it's beautiful. It's really sort of like butter soft. Absolutely gorgeous. And I think that's it, Donna. Yes, we're done. That, that, that's it. Um, right, before we go, any questions? Uh, you, can, you can obviously get in touch with us. Give us a call if there's anything that um, I missed here today. But uh, yeah, and thanks. And, and I think everybody was chatting to each other. So That's thanks cool. for thanks for all the chat, ladies. Um, it makes it a little bit more social. Thank you. And also, hopefully we've converted you to these amazing trousers. Uh, you know, we know they have no hanger appeal. We know when you touch them on the outside, they feel a bit odd, but they do amazing things for your body. Now we are back on Thursday. We're going to do a Thursday styling on outfits for Christmas. So two of us are playing dressing up on Thursday. Donna and I are going to wear five outfits each that we would wear between uh, Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve. So that will be a little bit of fun, especially as we've got to put our thinking caps on, as obviously Christmas is going to be very different next, this year. We're back with Sunday Styling uh, next week, but I've got no idea what we're doing. Looking ahead, we have got some good things coming up. So in early December, Michaela Franklin is going to give us a winter update on skincare from Temple Spa. And she's also going to have some great gift ideas as well. Sheena, who is an old chum of mine, um, I met her doing the Suffolk show yonks ago. Uh, she is actually going to do a makeup special for us. Lots of people have asked us to do a styling session on how to change the clothes that you wear as you go grey. And actually, we don't think you need to change your clothes. We need to change your, you need to change your makeup. So we're going to have a little bit of fun with that. And also Chris Wilson Lowe, um, you will have met her uh, as an artichoke girl. She used to be a DI on the murder squad in the Met and work in child protection. She is going to give you a real Christmas treat. She is going to do one of her public 
speeches for you. She does public public speaking and she's going to give you a little chat as well. So we've got great things coming through ladies. Stick with us even if it is a miserable November Sunday on lockdown. Before we sign off, I must say thank you so much to all of you for the continued love and support that you give us. You know, it's not just buying things from us, it's the knock on the window and the wave as you go by. Hopefully, uh, some of you might have seen me on the news this week. Um, it was very heartfelt. Uh, actually, as a shop owner, as an owner of an independent business, I don't care whether they shut us all down or they open us all up, but what I'm really, really cross about is the fact that a department store like Marks and Spencer's providing the food hall is on the same floor as everything else, the whole shop can be opened, which defies logic. So ladies, if you scroll through our Facebook page, you will see the petition that we're asking everybody to sign. And Donna has put her hand up, she wants to say something. I just want to say, uh, don't be selfish. Don't keep the entertainment to yourself. <laughs> Share it with your friends. <laughs> right ladies, bye bye and we'll see you on Thursday.